Hey everybody, today I'm gonna show you a must-have device for anyone in the IT industry. They're not just enclosures for SSDs or hard drives. These are unique items and, as far as I know, only one company makes them. These tools can emulate a virtual optical or hard drive using any ISO image, which is recognized by your system as a legitimate physical drive. This allows you to instantly boot your computer or server from the enclosure using live operating systems, recovery or backup software, or installation media for any operating system, just by selecting the appropriate image file. This is my trusty IODD2531, which I've been using daily for many years. It costs about 85 bucks. And this is the IODD ST400, the latest model that I decided to upgrade to. It has a bigger screen, more convenient controls and an improved user interface. Along with the new features like data encryption and password protection, virtual hard drives and more. It costs about 100 bucks. Both enclosures are made in Korea, the links in the description. This one has an aluminum case, a micro USB type B port, and comes with a screwdriver, a USB cable, which can replace with a USB-C one if needed, and a protective sleeve. So, all you need is a 2.5-inch hard drive or SSD. Simply remove the two screws under these rubber strips, and take out the main assembly. Then connect your drive to the SATA connector, and reassemble the enclosure in reverse order. This enclosure has a plastic case, a USB-C port, and comes with a USB cable and a soft protective sleeve. No tools are required, just slide off the back cover, insert the drive, and replace the cover. Connect the enclosure to your computer, and ensure drive is formatted with the NTFS file system. If you are using a used drive, remove all existing partitions and then create a new one. For this model, create a folder named underscore ISO and place all your bootable or regular software images inside it. I have some Windows installation media here, live Windows and Linux images and other software. You can also store any data here, just like on a regular USB drive. Now reconnect the enclosure or press the refresh button to recognize the ISO folder. As you can see, now we can scroll through the list of images. For example, if I select Kali Linux, the image immediately mounts to the virtual optical drive. This model offers a much better experience. You can open any folder on your drive to mount images, and it even supports opening text files. Both enclosures have three modes. Dual mode, where both the optical drive and SSD are accessible. Hard drive mode, where only the hard drive is accessible. And CD mode, where only the optical drive is available. This model also supports three virtual hard drives. You can also adjust how the system recognizes the virtual or external drive. It can be seen as a removable USB drive or a fixed one. If you don't want antivirus or malware to interfere with your files, you can disable access to the drive and use it in CD mode only. Also, you can activate write protection for a specific drive, and the enclosure will operate in read-only mode. Now let's boot from the enclosure. If your computer doesn't power the USB drive when off, then turn it on. It doesn't matter if the computer has an operating system or if it's crashed, we just need to power the enclosure. Select the image you need, then turn on or restart your computer. Once it starts, press F11 or F12 repeatedly to open the boot manager. Here's my virtual CD drive. Once selected, the computer boots Linux from the ISO image, and here's a full functional Linux Ubuntu. If I need to install, for example, Windows 11, I can also easily emulate its image. Select the boot source, and the Windows installation media starts. It's super simple and fast. So, these are the main features of these enclosures. I highly recommend any of these, but this one would be my choice.